All right, here we go. This is the travel vlog. We got a long, 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 long ride to New York. And you're probably looking at your boy right now. You're like, damn, Mark, you look terrible. And you're right. I need a haircut bad. So guess what? This is how we kicking the travel vlog off. I just pulled up here. We in Tuskegee, Alabama. I just pulled up to my boy City Red. We finna slide in here. I gotta get touched up because I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks and I can't be looking like this. The bass don't like that. I don't care what y'all say. Pardon the 18 wheelers is hella loud right here. <clears throat> when you when you come out there and you all scruffly and scraggly, <clears throat> they ain't feeling that. We got one thing in order. Got the got the fresh cut. I'm back. But we got another important project. I want to show y'all something. So, summer times, it's one of my favorite times of year. Fishing's good, weather's nice, but it's also time for these right here. Y'all see them. I got them big jumbo watermelons from Georgia. They come from Georgia. I didn't go to Georgia, but they come from Georgia. But that ain't enough. I got four. I need like two or three more. So I'm here at the produce market. We finna pick up a couple more jumbos. We toting them bad boys all the way to New York. They going for the long ride. Hey, when you gotta tote them on your shoulder like this, it's a good. Oh. Adrian's gonna be happy. Oh. Shout out my boy Adrian. He loves fruit like me. So of course, the whole house will eat these though. But me and Adrian, we're going to knock down out of six, seven watermelons, me and Adrian going to eat four at least by ourselves between the two of us. And then everybody else will just pick through what we got. All right, I got to get one more. One more. We good, bro. <laughs> All right. Now we officially ready to go to New York. <laughs> hey, we got that bad boy. Packed, son. Now I gotta have my breakfast. Come on. All right. Let's do it. It's about to be a fun week, man. I'm excited about it because uh, we going up here, upstate New York, Finger Lakes, Cayuga. I've never been to New York this early, so I'm thinking these fish are gonna be pre-spawn or spawn. So. That generally means a pretty damn good fishing experience. And so the, 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 the key this week is going to be the, the decision to go for green or brown. And you can probably win with either on Cayuga. I think historically it's been one with largemouth, but we saw what Dustin did last year. And the place got some big, giant smallmouth. I caught a few of them too. Big smallmouth in this place. So a person can get really right fishing for the for the small jaws but i don't know we're gonna see man i'm gonna try i'm gonna test them both out and see which which way we're gonna go but prior to that we're gonna get up here so my my, my, my boy colin my camera guy here ain't never caught a smallmouth he's from louisiana so i told him i said as soon as we roll up the first thing we doing is putting you on a putting you on a smallmouth bro so i'm looking forward to that we'll probably jump in on one of these little finger lakes seneca oswego skinny atlas one of the other finger lakes that are going to be close by the house. And I just love fishing up north, man. It's just about to be fun, bro. We're going to catch them every day we fish. Whether it's practice, whether it's on these random lakes, and in the dirt. We're just going to smash, bro. It's just going to be a fun week. I'm here for it, man. New York, here we come. But right now, we get some damn traffic. And I'm not in Atlanta. I can't believe it. Some traffic, man. It's lit out here. They don't want me to get up here. Since I got 10 more minutes of it. I hope they hurry up. This is the worst part about driving when you take these long trips, man. You come to these cities, you come to start coming to these larger metropolitan cities, traffic, 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 bro. It's almost low-key better to try to do these trips at night where it's less less activity, you know? That's just my little rant for the day. We got, what, about two more hours till we get there? <laughs> two more hours? <laughs> hey, so look, New York from my house, when I put it in my, when I punch it into my phone, it says like 16 and a half hours. But I didn't make this drive so many times. It's 
significantly longer than that. I think by the time you factor in like the gas stops and all, it's and like we lose an hour. And we lose an hour. Yep, that's true too. Going from Central Time Zone to Eastern, it's like it's like a twenty piece. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like a twenty piece, bro. No, no sauce. None of that. No cane sauce. Raising cane. What, what kind of sauce is it? Cane sauce. Cane sauce. No cane sauce. Just twenty. Yeah, a they'll, naked they'll 20 know. Piece. These people in the video will know. Oh yeah. Hey, about the so, cane so sauce. And let me tell y'all something about your boy that I, that y'all don't know. So Collins from Louisiana, from from Baton Rouge area. Louisianians, they love some food and they love to cook and they great cooks. The best. I, I'd say I I go out on a limb and say the best food, probably in our country, low key, is in Louisiana. It probably is for real. But my man know all about everything and he we were just talking on a ride up here a little bit ago about cane raising canes i ain't never had raising canes that's probably a shocker to a lot of y'all out there don't be too alarmed but i've been told that it's like similar to like chick-fil-a or like over where we at in alabama we got a spot called zaxby's so i don't know y'all let me know in the comment section zaxby's chick-fil-a or, or raising canes i ain't never had raising canes probably gonna have to have some here i don't know soon but you know i'm big on my fruit bag right now so i'm gonna just probably have me a slice of watermelon and let colin eat it but i might i might sneak a little bite in and try it let y'all know we'll see see how i feel see how i feel Diesel, bro. Huh? That's diesel. I can't complain about that. 349. No, that's oh. diesel. No, it ain't. Oh, it ain't? No, you scaring me, bro. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, so at these BPs, green oh. is the regular joint and black is diesel. Oh, okay. Damn, you just, hey. <laughs> hey you gave me a damn panic attack. See? All right. We done made it to Ohio. Ohio. And, uh, I'm noticing as this as we trend northern north as the further we go north them gas prices they popping but I ain't gonna complain bro I ain't gonna complain you know your boy from Cali so 349 that sounded like a good bargain but uh, we getting closer man we about six hours out to New York we ain't gonna make it all the way to New York my butt's hurting Colin's butt's hurting we've been sitting down all day long been on the road since 10 o'clock this morning Got a lot done today though. Went and got a cut, went to, went to the watermelon patch and got right. Hit the road, put in about 10 hours. Man, we, 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 we getting it, man. We, we making some good headway all to go chase these big, I'm gonna say smallmouth, but it's gonna be a combination of both. But them smallmouth gonna play, bro. They gonna play. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm just looking forward to some cooler weather. And some good fishing, man. I got my, my pops is flying in later in the week. We might even do a vlog with pops. Pops never really got on no good smallmouth fishing, so I'm gonna stay a little extra after the tournament and take pops around some of the Finger Lakes, and uh, we might even slide over to like Lake Ontario, uh, St. Lawrence River, places like that. So, you know, it's gonna be a good week, man. It's gonna be a good time. It is uh, day two, morning, driving. We are somewhere in Ohio, Medina maybe, just south of Cleveland. We got about five hours, so we make it up there to Cayuga. So not bad at all, man. So we're gonna get on the road here about eight this morning. Whoop, whoop, all the way up there. We might even drop in one of the other Finger Lakes, Oswego, Seneca. Uh, I can't remember the names of the rest of them. But whichever one's closest, we might just pull up, go fish for a couple hours. Again, I still gotta put my boy Colin on some smallmouth, so that's high on the list. And uh, I just wanna get out there and kind of check water temperature and see if uh, see if I can see what stage these fish are in. I bust out the flogger, look down, see if we can see some smallmouth spawning, just what's going on. I don't, I don't really know what they're gonna be doing. Pre-spawn, spawn, or post-spawn, or a combination of all three. So I kinda wanna get an idea. I think Seneca is the lake that's probably gonna resemble Cayuga the closest, but they're all pretty much the same. Super deep, natural lakes. Um, that tend to warm up first on the northern end and then work its way down mid lake and then ultimately on the south end so um you know just getting up here a day earlier or so you know that's a big deal for me 
big deal for a lot of guys just so we can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So we're about to hit this road. I got to take my boy Colin and get some breakfast because I'm already having mines. Good little mango. Good for the good for the brain. Good for the mind, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to keep rocking. First thing you do when you get to New York, you don't waste no time. You go launch the boat and you go fishing. So we're here on uh, Lake Oswego. I fished here last year, and this place has got some smallmouth, man, some big ones. So we're gonna get out here and uh, see if we can have a good time. I gotta put Colin on one. Y'all know, y'all know the story. So that's my motivation right now. You gotta put Colin on one. So he's about to get my best, my best effort right now. You ain't come all the way up here without him, huh? Oh no, we gotta have him. I said I got whooped by him once, man. We ain't doing that again. I'll I'll be I'll be Google-eyed flogging from here on. When they spawning up north, your boy would not not have a flogger. So I got whooped by that last time we was up north early like this. And I said, okay. You can learn a lot from a dummy. First thing you do when you get to New York. You go fishing. I literally just rolled up. Let's go. That's a big old bait fish. There we go. All right, my first NY smallmouth for the year. I just love catching these. This dude ain't a giant, but he's, you know, he's two pounds, two and a quarter, whatever, but they're just so much fun, man. How can you not like this? This is why we get so excited about the northern swing, because we get up here on these lakes like this, and uh, I mean, they're just full of fish, man. They don't get a ton of pressure. I don't see anybody else bass fishing out here, except for me. You gotta love it. Oh, yeah. Hey, happiness. Coming, coming north is happiness. That's a smallmouth right there. That one looked like he swam over here from Lake Ontario. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know I got a, I got to know what you are. He's pushing six, if it's not a six pounder. Oh, 
540. 540. Golly, man. Look at that sucker right there. Pretty sure, yeah, spawner, I'd have to say. Jeez, man. I thought that fish would be even bigger. Five and a half pounder, though. That's a freaking giant. That's a giant. That's why y'all come up here, huh? That's why we do it, bro. Hey. That's why even though I'm up here I, and I'm not catching nothing, I just can't stop smiling, man. Because of that right there. That's what goes down when you come north. I mean, golly. I thought I had my PB for a minute. Dude, that rod just loaded up. I'm like, huh. And then the very next pass, You could catch a Rocky Balboa. Now look, y'all know how I feel about Rocky Balboas. We don't we don't throw these back. I'm gonna have a fish fry for the crew. No, they'll, they'll see it at some point later in the video. Oh, they're gonna see. So let me show y'all what we're doing with these. Yellow perch, Rocky Balboas. Yeah. Residents. Hey. Tasty trees, little nuggets. Lunker log to the dome in the mouth, right? I feel like you gotta say that. You have to be saying that a lot this week, huh? Oh. In the mouth. In the mouth. You're gonna definitely hear that. Mm. That's not a little one. Peeing. Pissing. You know what time that is. Fifty-seven. Dang, you look like a four pounder. I feel like a four pounder. All right, buddy, get back on that bed. You do what you do. I think they just getting up there. Which, which is a good thing. All right, day one's a wrap, man. We we, we spent about five hours driving today. Took our time. We chilled. Didn't didn't get in a rush, man. Finally got up about one o'clock. Launched the boat. And I'm telling you, people, this is why we love coming north, man. We probably caught 20 today in a half day. Biggest one, five and a half pounds, several over four. I mean, it's just awesome fishing, man. DC's out here too, he's behind me. He got, we got up here early, man, just to, you know, get the, get the groove back, get back in the swing of the northern fisheries, you know? Um, but yet and still, this fishery we were on today is, is a predominant smallmouth. But I'm still torn. I don't know what I'm gonna do over on Cayuga, man. That's gonna be the really gonna be the decision factor here in the next couple days. We'll find that out when we start practice. But just wrapping up the travel vlog, man. I hope you guys had a good time, enjoyed it. It gets it gets wild out here on the road. We spend a lot of time on the road, so you know, I had a great time. I think Colin's having a good time too. Got him. Hey, and we did get him on a smallmouth, several. So yeah. I feel good about that. Yeah. Put my boy on some. I got some baby boys too. That was one of the first few ones that I caught. Yeah. He's a baby. Hey, I say we got enough for the whole house. Me and you. Hey, that's a mess up. That might be more than 15. <laughs> 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 made it we are here wrapping up the travel vlog got to the house we're staying on lake awasco this week same place we stayed last year so uh good vibes man from this place i'm just happy to be up north man a lot of fish fish biting we played around out here yesterday i keep calling it oswego but it's awasco lake that's where we fished yesterday and um man these places are just full fish man full fish good times 
and I'm ready to catch these bass, man. So Cayuga's up next. Practice, y'all see that? And then the tournament's gonna go down. I'm group A this week. Appreciate the love, appreciate y'all following me. See y'all.